Hello everybody and welcome slash welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really hope you're all doing okay and have a great day and amazing week. My name is Effie and today we are testing the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose Palette. I tested the Serenity Palette in my last video and today we're testing this one. And we're starting with nothing on my face. The palette looks like this. Very pretty. Very different to the Serenity Palette. The Serenity Palette is more like greens and blues. This is more pinks and purples I guess. I'm gonna do a sunset eye because the palette basically is telling me to at this point. Um, I've started with no makeup on just to switch it up. Um, I will run through my base on camera but it will be sped up and there will be music over it because I have nothing new to test. Um, I promise I will test more makeup at some point, just not right now. I might throw in a new lip at the end because that seems to be the theme of my videos at the moment. I test a palette and then a new lipstick. But if that sounds interesting to you then please do just keep on watching. If you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up. I upload a video every Saturday and it's always makeup content so if that sounds like your type of thing then this is the place for you. You can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below. It's completely free and it just lets you know when I've uploaded. But other than that let's go on with the video. Eye base is on, we're using the Beauty Bay Eye Base in shade 2 as always and I don't really know where to start. I think I'm going to start with this shade here called Fantasy. Again it's going to be quite blown out a bit like the look we did with the Serenity palette. That shade's gone on really nicely, it is a deep purple and they are notoriously quite difficult to formulate. I wouldn't know, I've never formulated a palette but from what I've heard they are quite difficult to formulate. It doesn't look particularly patchy on my eyes or anything. It's gone on really nicely. It's packed on, it's built up. It's exactly what I wanted. As usual, I will just be like putting the shades on in the places that I want them and then I will go back through and blend them once that is done. Now I'm going in with this shade up here called Wild Rose. It's a very pretty shade actually. That shade has also gone on really nicely. I've just patted it where I want it. I've not really blended the two shades together but they seem to look like they'll blend really easily when I get round to my blending. The colours work well together, it's a very vibrant colour, it has taken over that dark purple a little bit where I've placed them over each other, but that's fine, that should be fixed when I go through and blend them. It's actually a really pretty shade, I really like it. Now I'm going in with this bright bright pink called Dreamer. I hope it comes out just as bright on the eyes. Again, that shade's gone on absolutely beautifully. I feel like it's very similar on my skin tone to that Wild Rose shade that I used before it. So they might just look the same on my eyes, which is fine. But hopefully when I blend them properly, it won't look as the same and they'll look a little bit different. I'll get a bit more definition, but we'll see. Now the next shade I'm going in with is Honey. And honestly, these sorts of like orangey shades are gorgeous. I love them. I think it'd be really nice for the sunset. Again, that shade's gone on really nicely. I'm not really blending the shades and at the moment and I realize how crazy my eye looks. I promise it will get better, trust the process. But it's already started blending really nicely with those pink shades and giving me a really nice like dark orange transition, which I really, really like. I am hopeful for blending this out because right now I'm perfectly aware that I look absolutely insane. But now our final matte shade is going to be this one here called Highness. I actually really like yellow eyeshadows so I'm hoping this one's really good. Another shade that has gone on really really nicely. It's already blending quite well with that orange. I'm actually really excited to blend this out now and get it looking a bit more decent. But that is a really nice shade. It still shows up on my skin tone even though I'm incredibly pale. It is just a really nice matte yellow and I really like matte yellows. Now what I'm going to do is go back through all of those shades with fluffier brushes and hopefully the blend will look a lot better than this because I do look insane right now and I'm perfectly aware of it. As suspected they do blend a lot better with fluffy brushes and I'm really happy with the outcome. I will say the only bit I'm a bit annoyed at and it's my fault not the palettes is that when I blend that pink and the orange it creates a sort of darker pinky red and then that then looks darker than the shades I've used before it so it sort of looks like I've gone dark light dark but I'm not too mad at it. The shades blended together really nicely, the fluffy brushes really really helped, it's super colourful, super pretty and I'm actually really impressed with it. 
I'm not happy with my work. I think the shape is slightly wrong and things like that, but I think the palette is performing really well and that is the main thing. We're not here to criticise my ability. We're here to focus on the palette. Now, what I'm going to do, am I going to... Am I going to cut my crease? I don't really want to. So I'm not going to. Easily done. Um, there are one, two, three, four, five, six shades in this palette that are shimmers. And that is this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to swatch all of them on my hand and then we'll decide which one we want. So here they all are. There are six on there. Starting from this one here, it's called Champagne, then Tiffany then Enchanted, then Boss Babe, Bloom, and Royal Rose right on my knuckles. That Royal Rose shade, everything, it's one of those ones that's like got different flecks of colour in it. I really want to use the Bloom shade, but I'm not going to, because I have matured. I think I'm going to go for the, um, the Royal Rose shade, because it is stunning. And I'm going to try it with a brush. If it doesn't work, I'll use my finger because I found with the Serenity palette, they work amazingly with your finger. They work fine with a brush, just better with your finger. So let me find a brush first of all. And Royal Rose is this shade down here in the corner. See what I mean about it being like specks a different colour? Gorgeous. Let's put it on my eye. It went on beautifully and it worked really well with the brush. I did just go in with my finger a little bit just to see if I could make it more opaque but actually it's super opaque with just a brush to be honest. I love the colour. It's sort of this like pinky rose champagne sort of shade. It's very pretty. It goes on like a dream. Absolutely stunning. I'm very impressed with it. I'm not impressed with the shape I've done on my eyes but that's fine. What I'm going to do now is go off camera and catch up my other eye and when I come back we will do our base but speed it up. See you in a moment. Okay eyes are done. I did go in with a face wipe and just clean up the edges. They're looking a little bit more even. I'm still not over the moon with the look I've created but let's talk about the palette. I think the shades work really, really nicely. I don't know if I prefer this to the Serenity. I might do actually. But the shades work really, really well. They blended really nicely. They look pigmented and colourful on my eyes. The shimmer worked beautifully. I love it. It's another shade that's sort of like a putty shade. And if you've seen my videos before, you'll know that putty shades aren't my favourite. But it did still work really well. It worked with a brush, which is the main thing. I did go in with a finger on both eyes. But I think it would work fine with just a brush. I personally don't like getting makeup on my fingers just a personal preference but this one did work fine with a brush which is the main thing i actually think this palette would be good for every day partially because i like pink tones but also there are quite a few like brownie neutrally tones that i think would work really well on the daily basis and overall i think this is a really nice palette i do think this palette is more wearable than the serenity because it has the browns and the pinks for that reason and that reason alone, I think it's a bit more wearable. I feel like this colour scheme will appeal to more people. Because realistically, if you take out the blue, the orange and the purple, and the pink maybe, it's pretty much a neutral palette. Or it's more neutral than the Serenity palette. I really like it. It will definitely get a bit more use in my collection. Cosmic Brushes is a indie brand. I think they're from the UK. And I can't remember how much this palette was, maybe 15, 20, 25, 30, somewhere around there. And I think the quality is kind of worth the price. I know we're in a cost of living crisis and all that, but if you're still buying makeup, this is actually a really good option. And the packaging is gorgeous, so was the Serenity palette. I think this is definitely a brand to keep an eye on because I think they could do really, really well. They already are doing really well, they sell out all the time. It took me a lot to get these palettes. So they are doing very well, but I think they are just going to keep getting better and better and better. So yeah, I do really like the look. What I'm going to do now is do my base on camera, but I'll speed it up and put music over it just so that it's a bit easier for everyone. And then I'll come back and do a lip because I don't know what lip I want. I might use a new one. I might not. We'll see. I'll also finish up the eyes with you. So yeah, let's just do our base.
done. I don't know if you noticed, you probably did. Um, my foundation went a bit weird. I was using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Hydration Boost and it just balled up on me a little bit. Not the ideal situation, but I figured it out. I'm not gonna lie, when I prepare to film these videos, I list all the products that I'm gonna use and then use them. I don't know why I went for a pink blush. Maybe I thought this look was gonna be more pink, but oh well, we're gonna do the lower lash line. And I want to use the blue. To be honest, I wanna use this blue here. But I don't know if it's gonna work. So, mm, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna show restraint. But I am going to use different colours. I'm thinking I'm going to use the shade Honour along my lower lash line and then blend out with Queen Bee just to keep it a bit more neutral, see how it looks, test two more shades, why not? By the way, in my videos, if you ever see me using this brush like five times, I have five of them. I'm not using the same brush over and over and over again. I have five of them, maybe more, I'm not sure. But let's go in with the first shade Honour. Those two shades actually both worked really well and the reason I kind of wanted to test the browns is because I do think this palette could be used for neutral looks like I said when I was reviewing it and I just wanted to see if they were any good. Now I've left my inner corner bare and I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade Tiffany. I'm also just going to drag it a little bit along my lower lash line but not too much because that would be crazy. That shade is gorgeous. It is so pigmented. It's kind of like a lilac -y shade and it looks really nice, but it's got like a shift of blue to it. It looks really nice in the inner corner. I kind of wish I had it all over my lid, but I won't because we're keeping it... I was going to say we're keeping it tame. This is tame. Okay? Tame. Now for the waterline, I'm using the Made by Mitchell All Smudge No Budge in Passion. It's the purple. I think it'll work really well. I'm going to cut this bit out of the video. As always, because I don't like watching people put stuff in their water lines, I imagine I'm not the only person who feels that way. So it's just better for all of us if I cut it out of the video. I'm not really sure why, but that was incredibly difficult to apply and I haven't applied it very well. It hasn't come out very opaque. But basically, it just didn't feel as creamy as all of his other pencils, and I have quite a few. And I've never had that issue before, it just didn't feel great going on. Now I'm going in with mascara and I'm using my mini of the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I actually really like this mascara. I know it's only a mini and it, the full size is probably way too expensive for me personally. But it's really good. I think I got it in a um, advent calendar, maybe? Who knows? Now for a lip. I don't really know what to do. Maybe like... Um, I've gone pink on the blush, so maybe a pink. Maybe a pink. Yeah, we'll go for a pink. I'm not going to test a new product because I can't be bothered getting up and going and getting a new product. So... I'm actually going to go in with this one. I have like a set of 6, 12 lipsticks here on my desk now that are my like go-to favourites. So that's pretty handy. And then all my other lipsticks are behind me. Um, so this is the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet in the shade 10 Don't Pink of It. I tested this quite a while ago and then I used it again for the first time in ages and really liked it. Yeah, I think that works quite nicely with the blush. I don't know how it works with the eyes. But I never really do very well at matching my eyes to my lip. Let's talk about the palette really quickly before I say goodbye. I'm not a massive fan of the look I've come up with. But that's on me, not the palette. Um, I think this eye is slightly better, but they're both pretty bad. The palette, really like. I've already spoken about it in the video, so I'm not going to harp on too much. I do really like it. I think the colour scheme, like I said, it's got those bright colours, but if you take some of them out, it's basically a neutral palette, and I think that makes it a little bit more wearable to a lot of people. Even to myself, like, I think the browns on my lower lash line, like this shade here, Queen Bee, is a brown I will use a lot. And then the other browns you've got, Honour, Romance, Flawless, I'm reading these upside down. Even Passion, it's an orange, but it'd probably be very wearable on the eyes. Even Honey, which I used today, I reckon that's pretty wearable on the eyes if you blend it out. Then you've got sort of the pinky tones that I think I would use quite often anyway. I really like this palette. I'm not going to say whether I prefer this one or the Serenity. Because I think I would use them for different things. And therefore, they're not comparable and I don't have favourites. I would never do that. But anyway, yeah, not a mass fan of the look. Let me know down below what you think of it. I don't know why I don't like it. 
again this side is better, I don't know why I don't like it, I just don't. But that's on me, not the palette, the palette worked beautifully, blended really nicely, really pigmented. I like the rest of my face, even though my foundation went a bit awry, the rest of my face looks really good, um, yeah. It is what it is, videos don't always go as planned. But there we go, that is my video testing the Cosmic Brushes Royal Rose Palette. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. I put up a video every Saturday and it's always makeup content, so if that sounds like the type of thing, then this is the place for you. Drop me a comment down below, let me know what you think of the palette, let me know what you think of the look. Look at this eye, not the other one. Um, let me know what you think of everything. Um, let me know if you've ever had the same problem with this foundation, because do I need to get rid of it? I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you have a great day and an amazing week, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye!